So they've been lying to you about the rapture all along. Hey guys, it's John here. I had another question come in asking me whether the rapture was untrue. And I went looking on my channel to see if I had a video dedicated specifically to the rapture, and I didn't. So I thought, this is the, actually the video that needs to get out. Because long before there were big lies in our modern world, there were big lies that were happening elsewhere as well. The rapture, number one, let me just say this, is not in the Bible. It is not in the Bible. It is not in any of those texts. It's not in the Bhagavad Gita. It's not in the Quran. It's not in any of those things. The rapture was invented in 1830 by Minister John Darby. After hearing Margaret MacDonald's dream, he interpreted it into the rapture. And that rapture itself is an interesting thing because it is the perfect fear-based tool to draw people to your church. And the evangelicals grabbed a hold of the rapture and they started writing the Left Behind series and they started doing all this thing. Why would they grab a hold of it? Because fear-based tools makes money. They literally are, are scaring people into buying their books. They're literally scaring people into coming to their churches. The rapture is a, a big spiritual lie. And when you People will argue, well, the word rapture is used in the Bible. Yeah, but there's not an event called the rapture. It's not anywhere in the Bible. It's not anywhere in prophecy. It is the prophecy of 1830, Minister Darby interpreting Margaret MacDonald's dream. So the question is, uh, do we take this rapture as truth? Do we take this rapture as something that we ourselves are going to uh, buy into and go down that fear-based route, and we're going to start listening to the people telling us that we have to be one, one of the 144,000 that are going to be uh, drawn up in, in the end times. Well, the end times themselves are, are a fallacy. You know, the, the, the book Revelation is about uh, uh, the apocalypse and all these things, but I've done a video on that as well, how it's actually a contemporaneous letter of the time warning about Nero. And not only do I believe that, Bible scholars believe that. But the people who want to manipulate those end time prophecies and manipulate those, those revelation and manipulate the, the rapture uh, to scare you into coming to their church, giving them more money, letting them buy another private jet, all of those things are are specifically grifting. They're spiritual grifting. And the rapture is the number one tool for spiritual grift because what they're doing is they're just scaring you into giving them money. You have the ability to let that go. Now knowing the history of the rapture, you can let that go. I personally find it kind of humorous that it's 144,000 souls you know, our, we've got 6 billion people on this planet. That's very few people are actually going to make it. You know, your, your odds of getting there are more like hitting the lottery. Um, and number two, I also find it interesting that 144 is gross. So I think the whole concept of it is gross. <laughs> I look at it from the perspective of a, a, a tool of manipulation that has been, been used and created specifically to uh, scare you into giving them money. So if you're worried about the rapture, if you're worried about not being one of the 144, if you're worried and, and scared by what, what the, the churches are telling you, go back to the source. It's not in the Bible. It's not there. It literally does not exist until 1830 with Minister John Darby and Mark McDonald's dream. Take this moment to empower yourself and say, I don't believe in any of that crap. I am joyfully living a life of love. I am loving one another. And even if there was a rapture, the odds of you making it or me making it or any of us making it is very low because 144,000 is not a lot of people. I would not worry about raptures. I would not worry about Armageddons because even Armageddon, do you know what the word Armageddon means? It means Har Megiddo, Hill of Megiddo. 
I've stood on Armageddon. I've stood on the hillside of Armageddon in the Valley of Megiddo. It, you know, the, basically the story goes that the, the final battle is going to be on this hill in Israel called Armageddon or Armageddon. And, you know, this concept of it being this global, destructive, horrible, you know, end, of, end times thing, that's just more fear-based salesmanship to get you into the churches, for them to get into your pocket. And so it really comes down to you empowering yourself and realizing God is love. God is simply love. And if, if your church or, or spiritual leaders are preaching fear and preaching sin and preaching damnation and fe- preaching that if you don't be obedient to the, the rules and laws of a God, then they're preaching fear, and that's not love. Because the book of John itself says God is love, and no fear can exist in pure love. So if it's fearful, it's not of God. So I just wanted to hop on and talk about the the rapture today because I I got another message about it, and it wasn't one of my videos. So I thought it would be a great idea to put it out there openly so people can not be afraid of the rapture anymore. So you guys have a great day. And I'll talk to you soon. See ya. Bye.